Hi guys, it's Ray. I am starting a new cup today with a topper. We are going to do the Dear Auto Correct. It's Never Duck Mason Jar Tumbler and matching topper. So I'm going to put my decal aside for now. I have three little acrylic duckies. I believe these ones are from Amazon, but I also have some from Timu. So I'm going to use this glitter from Glitter Bay Walk on Water. I base painted with Satin Lagoon from Krylon. And I'm going to use the CC DIY Turbo for all of it. So, first, we're going to mix up our Turbo. I grab my tumbler and I'm just going to pour a bit of a puddle on the butt. And spread this out. Um, I actually taped on this one. This is a hog 17 ounce mason. I actually taped below the rim, so this is going to have a stainless ring because the hog um, masons, the way they're lined, I didn't want to go up over the top and end up with too thick of a rim for the lid to actually seal fully. And my decal for this one is from Jessica at Butterfly Lane Designs. Uh, you've seen me in the past print my own for these. But I just want to show that if you don't have the capability of printing your own, you can order them. And my decal is a VC decal, so it will work over the darker colored glitter. And basically, this is going to set up so fast that by the time I am done working on the lid, I'll be able to flood coat this. And I think that's going to be a good color match. So I did sand this a bit. And um, I plugged it with a chunk of a silicone straw through the hole. That's going to keep my hole protected. But this is what I mean by this comes down lower on the rim where this black piece is. So that's why I didn't um yep that is why I did not words um oh my goodness tape above the rim, but rather below the rim in this case. And I probably have too much epoxy mixed for this overall. I do want to come up over the top of this rim just a little bit, but not all the way to the edge with the epoxy. So I'm going to use, I thought about mixing some ice cubes with some bubbles, but I think I'm just going to use bubbles. And I don't think I want to use these ones. All of these beads came from Timu. Very pale blue, a bright blue, a smaller clear, and I need to grab a larger clear, and a larger clear. So, I'm just going to start plunking them on. Plunking, that's a very technical term. Learn it. Okay. 
I don't have nearly as many as the small of the small ones as the rest, so. So that should be a good first layer. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle in some more. And I'm not going to do a full second row. I'm just going to kind of you know, put some here and there. So I'm going to dip, dip, dip my ducks <laughs> to make sure their butts are coated so they'll sit. Cheeky purrs. Then I'm actually going to drizzle a little bit over the top of the ducks. And then just drop a few more beads on. And a little more drizzle, if any more will come out of here at this point. I just want to make sure my beads are well stuck. And pretty well coated. You can see how quick this is thickening up. That's why these are great for um, drip methods and toppers. Okay, so that actually worked out to be pretty close to the perfect amount. So, um, I'm going to grab my tumbler real quick and hope this hasn't fully set yet. Because I do need to remove this tape. Like, now. You do have to change your tape in between every single step. See how quick that's already setting up? Yep. I left my tape too long. So, I should have removed it immediately. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is come in here with a little bit of the extra epoxy that's basically thickened up. And I'm going to try my best to peel this back off of here. It's not going to work. And this is going to end up a slightly different color now. 
so it's not going to have the base paint. That was my own fault. Oh, not too bad. All right. And I did just get a little glitter on my top of Excuse me. All right, so my duckie's falling over. Ugh. The struggle is real. So I'm going to have a little glitter sprinkled on there. That's just going to have to stay. So... Okay, so I am ready to tape off and do the next layer. I'm going to cut off a chunk of tape. I am using electrical tape because it stretches better. So, there we go. Um, I'm going to trim that tail off a little bit. I made it a little bit too long. So I'm going to glove up, mix up. Uh, I'm going to go with maybe 20 mLs again because this is not a huge tumbler. see. Turn my turn on. I want it turning towards me just because of the way I'm taped. It'll be easier to remove. And I'm going to grab my glitter quick. And very, very lightly just fill in that gap if I can. And again, this section will get sealed down on the next coat. It's going to stick up just a little bit, but I am going to immediately remove my tape this time so that I have a nice straight, even edge. There. So I'm going to go grab my shower quick for work while this dries. I'll go look at my topper too. I mean, this is dry. So, when we come back for the next coat, or for the decal, I should say, um, we'll go ahead and pull this out. I'm not worried about the little extra epoxy. If it looks like a little water, so be it. So, there we go. It's so cute. I'll be back for decal shortly. Okay, so my tumbler is ready to get removed from the turner. Um, I'm going to trim down my decal. Again, this is a VC decal from Butterfly Lane Designs. You can find it on her website. Links down below. And while I was waiting for this to cure, Amazon rolled in with a package for me. 
and I didn't order anything, so I'm thinking this is a gift. So we're going to open it up and find out. Oh, it most certainly is. How exciting. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's see if the note says who this is from. Many nice colors to play with. Jazz up your cups even more with these colors. Enjoy from Lucky Peanut, a.k.a. Irene. Thank you so much, Irene. I realize it might be difficult for you to part with, but please toss your green pool noodle cradle. I think you may like this one better. <laughs> you don't like my pool noodle that I melted with a sublimation tumbler? This baby's been with me for five years. <laughs> You are absolutely right. I definitely needed one of these. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, you made me laugh. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Look at this. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And let's peek at this set. If I can figure out how to open it. Without ripping the box too much. This is also a 36 piece set of one, two, and three millimeters. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so very much. I very much appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna pull this tumbler off and use this right now. So I'm gonna pull this straw out but you see how that left me a perfect hole for my straw. That's why I like to use that. I do want to just run an X-Acto around the edge though, just to get any stray bits before this goes to like a fully, fully, fully hard cure. I do love an Amazon surprise. That just made my day. You guys are the best, Irene. Thank you so, so much. So, there we go. Uh, this one, you can put a cup in here straight, or you can put one at an angle this way. So, that's cool. Let's grab this. We are going to retape it again before I even put my decal on. And you know what? I am taking the trash out as soon as I am done with this cup. So I promise you, Irene, I will take the pool noodle with the trash. And I'm going to save that note forever. Actually, I may put it attached to the green pool noodle and, um, and keep it on my wall or something. <laughs> So, cut my tape a little short that time. So, you can see I went just a little bit higher again, like I said I was going to. I like to give it something to cling to. And this is nice and smooth. That worked really well. So, decal time. I still have a little uh, glitter under my nail. Even after my shower. Alright. That looks pretty straight to me. right there. Oh. Okay, so I'm 
going to pop that little bubble with a pin pen because I don't want to lift this again because this epoxy is so fresh. But we're going to take this back over and get a final coat on it and get this peeled. So the question is, while I mix up my epoxy, I have all those little bubbles. Do I want to add more bubbles? I don't know. And I decided I don't think I want to add any more bubbles to this. I would if I knew where it was. Add a tiny bit of touch of neon though. But I don't know where my diamond dust is yet. I forgot I dropped it off the desk or something a couple weeks ago. Oh no, I have it. It was my touch of rose that I misplaced. So I'm gonna do that. Just because cause I can. Just give it a little more color and dimension. A little bit more sparkle over the decal. But yeah, I'm fairly certain that this class of epoxies is going to just continue to explode. Because we went from one, what, six months ago? To, I'll be testing my third. And I don't think there's any more out yet, but I'm kind of keeping my eyes peeled. So. Um, I will say they are extremely expensive. Um, and they all seem to be pricing them pretty much the same to start. And to me, they all work the same. Um. So, I really can't suggest right now one over the other, other than I will say the Turbo shipped to me much cheaper than the Lightning Cure does. I'm not sure where the CCDIY shipped out of, but the Lightning Cure comes out of California and ground for me was super expensive. So... Um, for that reason alone, currently I'm going to stick to this one probably, but I'm also going to see how this behaves in the bottle as I get to the end of it and all of that. So I can't fully commit to like what I like better yet. And I definitely have decided that I'm not going to put any bubbles on, like I said. And part of that is because I am still trying to even up this top rim. And if I have to do another coat, the bubbles would just kind of disappear and go dull. So, because those you have to be committed to your last coat for. This. So, hopefully I can do this without mucking up my epoxy. It's easiest if you're pulling your tape away from the direction of your spin. So, if you don't have a turner that spins both directions, um, work it out in your head before you start which way you'll need to peel the tape, if that makes sense. So, here we go. This is it off the turner. And it is pretty nice and smooth, so. And there's the cute, cute lid. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys liked it too. I am super happy with it. So, there we go. Another one done. I will see you in the next video.